you have to leave and they accept the terms and conditions so the whole thing is the i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief good day everybody welcome welcome to the stream and i hope you guys are doing well today i was planning to start early with this but then something important happened so i'm starting a little bit late but today we're gonna um review a whole concept and i want to show you guys that if you use your yeah your how, how can i say this if you use your brain or if you look at the signs you can see if something is fake or not and um I'm gonna show you guys when you see some fake gurus out there when they post things on Facebook that you need to watch out for certain kind of things, especially when you go on their website. And I'm gonna show you guys an example of someone that says a lot of people open YouTube, a lot of people are believing him. I think it was one million or something, and he has one million subscribers. And the thing is when you look at terms or when you look at disclaimer you will see some things that they are saying hey my videos are only for education purposes and there is no business opportunity you will see what i mean soon but technically they are scamming you because in the videos they are saying hey i'm going to show you how you can make a lot of money but in the terms they're gonna say hey this is not business opportunity this is uh, this is just for entertainment pur purposes technically they are not saying in the terms of condition but they are saying it in the disclaimer that's something where i'll be like okay but uh, we're gonna look at those things and i think if you look at the signs when some things are too good to be true do not believe and do not follow those things and you will also see the signs on the website because people can go after them and sometimes people do not go after them because they one they do not have the means to do it two they do not have the knowledge to do it and three they think they have deep pockets and they cannot go after those those fake gurus but what people don't understand is some of them may have money some of them may not have money but think about it if they have money why are they making videos where they're showing secrets how you can make a lot of money you understand what i mean there's a um, popular video out there on youtube where i saw a really old man really um, knowledgeable said hey if you're rich why do you need to tell people how to um how they should become rich you understand what i mean and when you watch this video you will see that what those guys are saying is bs and if you look at certain kind of things you will see the sign so the reason why i brought this up is because i saw some video recently where you saw some f fake gurus and i was like that's not possible so when i went there and i look at the terms disclaimer and privacy policy and i was like this guy is bs because in the video he's saying this 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 and this but when you look at the terms they're going to be like what and i even saw some marketing tricks that i learned from some um some developers and eh, that they adapt into the terms of condition and i was like are you serious so i'm going to show you one example because they copy each other so if someone does this the other one will also copy it so technically if you look at one all of the others are almost the same they're saying they do different kind of niche, but it's BS, yeah? And I'm gonna be real with you. If you want to get rich, start working for it. There is no um, shortcuts, it's that simple, yeah? And it all depends on your goals. If you want to earn a lot of money, start working for it. I'm not saying you need to work a full-time job. I'm not saying you need to um, invent the best thing. What I'm saying is look at things that you like, Look at things where you have a passion for and start working on it. And as soon as you start doing that, one or two years, you start seeing results. If you do not start, it's not going to work. It's not like you can lay it around and doing nothing and earn money. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. So I'm going to be real with you. So 
Um, I talk of the person. I didn't. Uh, I didn't call the name yet. I'm seeing. I want to show you the website first. And the reason I'm going to show you the website is because when you visit the website, look at these signs. When you look at these signs, it can save you a lot of money, and you can skip a lot of scammers out there. They say Indian people are scammers, but if you look at the fake gurus, they are worse than the Indians people. I really don't like Indian people when they scam old people because they are vulnerable. But I also don't like scammers that scam normal people by telling them a story that sh they believe. Because you see people pay $20,000 for something that you can get on Udemy for $12. I'd be like, what happened here? Or someone pay five thousand dollar something that you can get on Fiverr for five dollar. That's a huge difference. They get a lot of money from their family and use that money to buy the course. But that course you can get it on Udemy. That course someone is um, offering the same course on Fiverr. And how do they um, operate on Fiverr? What they mostly do is they copy the course from someone that already followed the course. And sell it, resell it on Fiverr. So if you pay five dollars for the thing, for the course, copy the course, sell it on Fiverr, or whatever. But watch out for copyright. But don't start doing that. Those are our ideas. But I'm telling you right now, do not do that because one, you're wasting your time. Two, you lost your money. You're not getting your money back. Hey, you got scammed. And the reason why I'm doing this is because. Um, I want to show you guys, I'm going to give you guys a weapon, and if you know, the um, the idea behind a weapon is this, if you have a weapon, it's up to you how to use it, if you use it correctly, you can protect yourself, if you use it with bad intention, you can hurt other people, you understand, it's up to you, if someone hurts you and you want to hurt someone bad, back, they say something about you, but it doesn't mean you are a bad person. But that also mean that you are not a good person. What I'm trying to say is I'm going to give you the tools. It's up to you how to use it. If you're afraid to attack someone, it's up to you. If you act on someone, uh, attack someone and you hurt a person really bad and you feel guilty, that says something about you. You understand how complicated it can get? This is the simple part. But I'm going to give you guys some tools. And hopefully in this video you can use those things. If you have questions about other things related to this video, feel free to contact me. Okay, um, if you're watching this stream on uh, Twitch, if you're a subscriber, you can uh, request a song. I will put in background music. If you watch this replay on YouTube, that means you do not hear the background music. I put another background music and I cut the important part that I discuss in this video. So, that's all the things. And I have 45 minutes. So, I hopefully I can show you everything in 45 minutes. If not, there will be a second part where I show you the rest of the story. Yeah. So on YouTube, you will watch a replay uh, because this is what uh, this is recording, and I forgot to put the background music. Mm. No, there, there will be no background music because I forgot to to um, change something in the streaming software. So too bad. Okay, so if you listen, you only need to listen to my voice. If there is a noise, sorry about that. I'm getting soon a new mic. So let's start. The person I'm talking about is this person. So let's go to website. Yeah, Kevin David. Hopefully you guys know it. Um, I recently didn't know him because someone asked a question and uh, I did some research about him. I look at the website and this is the website. Let me give you guys something that you need to understand from a developer point of uh, view. Yeah, developer. I'm not saying I'm a top developer, but because I'm working a lot with developers, I know some basic things that you need to understand when you look at a website. First thing first, I visit the website. I have ad blocker on, so a lot of things are being blocked here. You're already seeing 10, ten things, ads are being blocked here. I'm not going to show you those ads because I don't want to promote other companies. So, second, you see this website, I can see that this website is made with WordPress. I can even prove to you that it's made with WordPress. If someone is earning a lot of money, why are they making a website with WordPress? I'm not saying anything bad about WordPress. Some big companies are using WordPress, 
but this is not a big company this is not a millionaire that make a website of wordpress let's look at it so if i press here few page source so it's gonna load was loading i'm gonna look at some things my computer a little bit slow sorry about that yeah but so you see here this is all with wordpress and i can see that the fonts not everywhere is the same i say something about design so if you're a millionaire and you make a lot of money start investing in your website and if you're earning like five hundred dollar five hundred dollars a week or per hours why not pay one hour work no five a person that can redesign your own website and make it nice this is all a sign that this is something fake i'm going to show you how they rely on income to get uh, let's say the income but uh, it's all um youtube ads so let's go down so they have all those um how do you say brand here the thing is do not believe that everybody can go to Forbes and put themselves in or let someone write an article about them in this yeah the thing is he can be there or not doesn't matter but if he's there and he's a scammer they say something about all these brands yahoo finance nasdaq let's say something about this i think he um, appeared there one time and he put it here on the website as they are working together of to show credibility this is also a trick that a lot of people are using for example when scammer use uh, microsoft they use microsoft logo to show hey there's trust don't believe in that yeah don't base the thing on the wall street journal because if wall street journal is a really trustworthy brand they will take action against people that use the brand without the permission but here you see it they do not take any action so i'm going to show you why this is fake and he's saying it itself in the disclaimer yeah so if you go down here you see all those things technically this is for entertainment purposes yeah coaching training support connection help you succeed no matter what so no matter what to help you succeed you see that here yeah so interesting interesting they even have a book you see him on it with the same tie it's the same picture as in here so i think the same picture yeah it's the same picture so the same picture use it somewhere with uh, photoshop put it on the book international best-selling author really based on what technically everybody these days are using international best-selling author real okay this is a selling page, Lenmon, Amazon course, digital course, Facebook ads course, marketing, agency master course. This is all bullshit. Yeah. It may that this course will explain to you how it works, but here it costs a lot of money. Just go to Udemy, you pay 12 bucks for it, and you can uh, get the same course. Or just go to lynda.com, you pay, let's say, I think it was $20 or something per month and you can get the same thing you can cancel whatever you want i'm not promoting this company but think about it yeah. so this is bs because when you look at the prices yeah i'm not going to look at the price let me show you uh, why this is wordpress when you have a wordpress website if it's developed by a good developer they will delete this this is technically um, a map in, on your domain so when you have a domain name you have a domain as an address and that address will lead to a server and the server will open a map it's the same as you go to a folder in your computer so you see the computer here this is the map this is a um, basic code of the wordpress you see wp content and then in here you see the website so i see he is using wordpress i can um, yes here wordpress um jason all those things here yeah it's using a wordpress website the thing is if you create a correct website website and you developer they can hide this or even make the website better so these are all the codes i can even find out which plugin he is using but that's not the main thing of the story the main thing is the story what if you buy a course is it possible to get your money back and why is this fake all those things you want to look into these videos and i hope i can uh, answer all this question but just be just just for your own sake 
when you look at the website and someone's claiming he's a millionaire, if the website is made from WordPress, there's something wrong. You understand? And there's nothing wrong with WordPress. I'm not saying WordPress is bad. I'm saying if you create something with WordPress, a lot of developers will tell you that WordPress, the, the code is... Um, how do you call that? Um, someone had a really nice word for that. It's the same as the code is okay, but everything is on different place. If you impl if you put a new plugin in, it will change the code. It's not um, organized. Uh, and if you see here, if I look at the code, I can see it's WordPress. I can even look and on the fonts or the style how it makes it's made for WordPress. The first thing when I came on this website today was like, oh, a WordPress website. That says a lot about you. I'm not saying anything is wrong. No. Most companies will use different kind of software to make the specific website for the specific need. Especially if they're a millionaire. And even you can get for $1,000 or $2,000, you can get a better website than this one. Yeah. So, this is the WordPress website. I didn't investigate everything. I'm not going to read all those things. But I can see that these things are fake. Or someone made it up. If they can prove me, or prove me. Because watch this: selling a two nine seven, four nine seven, seven nine seven, nine nine seven. Yeah, this is a program, right? Hey, okay. you see the numbers. You see a lot of um, odd numbers, and some even number. This is a marketing trick. When you see nine seven, you will buy some something faster than when you see five hundred or 300 or 800 because it's almost 500 okay. uh, there's a research about that I'm not going to in depth about it but this is a marketing technique so people can buy faster yeah and you also see in order to get credibility he's using a tie showing hey I, I'm in tie I'm in a suit you, you can take me seriously it's not in the normal days clothes so yeah so the uh, appearance says a lot about you yeah but uh, that's not why we're here you see him he has a lot of followers on youtube because he's telling fake things that people believe in that yeah um i think in another video we'll look at the youtube channel what you see here i tried turning zero into ten dollars to make you money online challenge yeah and here you see other things okay? A lot of things can be fake. Seriously, a lot of things here can be fixed. But um, here they even have a podcast. Rich people in a podcast. I think, um, is I'm not saying it's not possible. Yeah, they can have a podcast. But be honest, if you're rich, would you put a lot of work into those things? Or will you create a team that will make create it for you? Hey, maybe he has a team. Maybe not. But uh, if he has a team, I, I still, when I see everything here, I still have the feeling that he is doing everything by himself or he hires someone to do some things for him. But this website says a lot about you. Okay, so visit blog, he has some blog. Okay, and email, don't sign up for this. Please don't sign up for this. Reason why is this, as soon as you come into the funnel, they're gonna keep email you every time they even sell your email. They're saying they do not do that. It's just formal, uh, formality. But they do that because as soon as you import your email address into some other services other people has access to that email address so that's the thing so that's all those things here and you see here if you guys do not believe me or whatever there is a youtube channel of an uh, um, coffee villa that's the name of the youtube channel look at this youtube channel you will see uh, the person there convince you what's real and what's not real and what's fake and what isn't, but it can help you a lot in order to see the difference. I'm not going in depth about this whole person, but I'm going to look only at the legal part so you can see what you can do or what you cannot do. So we look at the website. Let's website is technically not the legal part, but you don't have a company where you can look at the outside how it looks like and the people that are working in it. So we need to look at the website because that's the only thing that we have here right now. I cannot visit his web, um, his workplace, um, but here we have his website. This is something that he's showing us, and this is how we can contact them. So let's talk a lot about that. 
So this is the website. We have here the privacy policy. That's interesting. And we also have the terms of services and the earning disclaimer. The thing is before this live stream, I downloaded them. So you see Ninja policy, I downloaded them and then we're going to look at it because I want to sh um, I want to make some notes so you can see what's wrong with this terms of condition disclaimer and terms of service because I saw some things there I was like you cannot put it in here but um, okay so I show you on the website um, some things that you need to watch out for this is only for one fake guru I'm gonna call him fake doesn't matter and this one for, for one fake guru you can also apply this for other fake gurus so if you have a feeling someone is trying selling something that's too good to be true look at the website that's the first step if they don't have if they do not have a website don't do anything yeah don't buy anything nothing look at the website if it's not professional or whatever don't go on there. don't do anything yeah technically don't do anything when you see those people if it's too good to be true your instinct is saying it's too good to be true that's simple so what are we going to do right now we're going to look at the documents so here you see the documents technically you're seeing a whiteboard because i'm going to explain some things but here you see the policy and if you do not believe it's from him we're going to go all the way down you see this is his company yeah his website and support ads yeah technically you can go there same apply for the disclaimer you can also find this on the website see i downloaded it today yeah during the live stream yeah before the live stream by the way and the policy is the same yeah oh, wait a second yeah this is the policy this is the terms of service yeah so we need to watch out for that and then we have the disclaimer we're going to look first at the disclaimer and then we're going to look at the policy and then the terms yeah so this is the disclaimer let me tell you how it works so you can have a clear idea how the process works. it's something that you need to understand as soon as you understand this a lot of things will be easy for you yeah so first thing first we have a company here right and we have a person it's the same with you and google let's say this is google and this is you you create an account on the website you have an agreement with google yeah doesn't matter same if you buy an iphone if you buy an iphone you, you have a contract with apple you accept the terms of services you have an iphone yeah it's the same online if you buy a course you sign a contract you sign a contract or you accept the terms you have a contract with the company also in this case in this case you see online they offer courses so when someone offer courses if you accept the terms of condition then you have a contract if you accept the terms of condition then you have a contract hopefully is everything okay hopefully you understand me if you don't understand me go back and try to figure it out so if i go online and i buy a course i accept the terms of condition yeah the thing is i'm going to explain this right now so later i can refer to you why i explain this in the terms of condition you will put only general general rules general agreements general agreements are just things that think about it that applies for everyone you can never put the price of your product or services in the terms of condition sometimes you will see a price but most of the time it can be a fine for being late or something you understand that so you can never put the price of your course or services of products in your terms of condition because then it's not terms of condition then it's just a contract you understand what i mean yeah? so the price never in the terms of condition you just put it on account as soon as they accept they pay you have to receive and they accept the terms of condition so the whole thing is the 
contract. So here is terms of condition. Here they have received that they pay. Together, they are those things are the contract. Hopefully you understand what I mean. If you don't, tell me in the comment. And just remember, you have to be a follower in order to comment on Twitch. Yeah. So hopefully you understand this. So we know now terms of services, term of condition. Doesn't matter how you call it. Those are terms. Yeah. If you look at disclaimer, it's another story. So this is about terms. We're going to look at this disclaimer. Yeah. What you need to understand when you look at disclaimer is it's just a statement. You're going to be like, huh? What do you mean by that? I can understand you're confused. Disclaimer is just a statement. Right. Why I'm saying that is because there is never a point where you accept the statement. There's never a point that you agree with the statement. You can disagree, you can agree, whatever. But you didn't accept it. You understand what I mean? Here you accept it as soon as you buy something. There's never a point where you accept the disclaimer. It's just something that someone make up. Why do the people make up? To scare people away. To be like, sometimes you can use a disclaimer because you can say, hey, I put this one on my website. Sometimes you should look at my website. Doesn't matter. Really, it doesn't matter. It's BS. All right. I see a lot of people put disclaimer. There's nothing wrong with it. All right. It's just to scare people away. can prevent a lot of things. I will do that. All right. But if I'm the victim here, I don't care about the, um, the disclaimer. You understand? I don't care about disclaimer. I declare about what, what did I accept. You understand? So it doesn't matter what you put in the disclaimer. It's just a statement. Just a statement. All right. And sometimes there will be situations during a contract that people can use the statement, but I say this, but those situations are rare. Because even you can use arguments to, um, to put that other, other argument beside. You understand what I mean? So disclaimer is just a statement. And you will see that soon, because now we're going to look at the disclaimer first, and then we're going to look at the terms. Let's see. Give me one second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give me one second. Yeah. Now I need to check something first. Because this is streaming on Twitch. And normally I cannot see everything. So I need to go back and forward to see things. Okay. We have earning disclaimer. Earning disclaimer. Yeah, see, I downloaded this today, so you see. Yeah. We have earning disclaimer. The information presented in the in this website is intended to be for you ed educational and entertainment purpose only. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. The first statement. So technically he's saying. Hey, all my videos are just for educational and entertainment purpose only. So what does it say? Most of the time it's for entertainment purposes. Because they want, uh, a lot of people want to see how you can get rich fast. And most people think, um, most people think that's the best way. It isn't. But here you see educational and entertainment purpose. So he's lying. Because, why is he lying? Look at here. We are not presenting you with a business opportunity. Oh, but you told me I can earn 500 uh, per hour. I can see that's a business opportunity because I'm working for $15 per week. Um, um, doing my full-time job, for example. You understand what I mean? And then, distributorship, we are not presenting. Um, or we are not making any claims as to income you may earn. So claims, we are not making any claims. But if you look at the website, they are saying something on the website be like, uh, I can see that as a claim, but even this is a disclaimer. It doesn't say anything. So technically what they are saying, 
everything on the website goes but in a disclaimer every claim we remove those claims okay i think something is wrong with my internet let me see what is wrong yeah everything seems to work fine why no i got i received a message that something is wrong with my internet but i checked it but everything seems to be fine yeah but let's go back to the story yeah so yeah pdf yeah so technically i say everything i would say on the website goes but in my disclaimer i defuse everything defuse means in this case i say he did but here I say everything that I say is not true. That's diffuse. So we are not making any claims as to income you may earn. No, you're doing that. You're doing that in your field, you're doing that on your website. Otherwise, you cannot sell those things. Everyone that sells a course, those businesses are not business. They are here to scam you. They are worse than the people that are scamming old people. That's what I'm saying. Because yeah, old people are vulnerable, but people that gather money for other family members to invest in this business opportunity and still lose their money i think that's worse yeah. because you saw some story where people they take their life just because of these things but, but okay let's keep on going we are not presenting you with the opportunity to get rich but you are saying get rich get get fast rich Hey, you're presenting that in your video and here you're diffusing it and you think it's making it correct you understand that? so technically everything that they're saying is fake and they're saying this we are not presenting you with an opportunity to get rich what are you doing then seriously what are you doing are you just telling me lies that's possible because if you're telling me lies put it also in your video say hey i'm telling you a lie hey I'm not sure if this is going to get you rich or not. Put it also in your video. Because this, only in the disclaimer, doesn't help you. So, and then we have auto stop. Yeah, you see all those things. Yeah, the thing is, I'm not going to discuss all those things with you. Eh? Because it's not worth it. Eh? But just read the disclaimer and you can see a lot of things that not worth it. Seriously. So, think about it for a second. Eh? If you see those kind of things, go on the website, see what they say about in the disclaimer. See what they say about it in the terms. If you look at those things, you know what to do and what not. But don't invest your money in this kind of BS things. Eh? These people are fake. Yeah? And there are other people that will explain why they are fake, but if you, even if you look at this contract or... The terms you will see that's not worth investing in those kind of things if you really want to learn education information video go udemy um, linda linkedin.com this company provide you more value for less than paying a lot of money so we look at the um the disclaimer let me save it just to be sure and i want to save it just also to be sure because i see that i don't have enough time but uh, i want to finish this in the next stream and show you some couple of things that you can do in order to get your money back yeah and what you need to remember is if you bought one of these cores and you want to get your money back most of the time it's hard to get your money back that's one thing if you pay through paypal and you file a complaint or dispute if you do not pay you back you can make sure the paper can go after your money because paper guarantees certain kind of things if you do it through their process and um it all depends on the situation but uh, we talk about the disclaimer as i said disclaimer is just a statement it's for yes now terms this is something you accept and most of the time you do not read it I can understand it because there's a lot of words and you don't have time for it. You're more interested in the course and getting what you want, right? So if you look at this document here, we talk about the disclaimer. It's about statement and this is about terms, yeah? Like I said, disclaimer, 
statement BS. Terms is important because as soon as you accept, you receive where you pay, and you have the terms of condition, right? So you have a contract with the company. So the whole contract is here. Everything is in here. Contract. Yeah. So what is the contract? Technically, is everything is in the terms, and the price you will find it on the receipt. That's simple. So here you see the terms. And I'm not going to read the whole terms with you, yeah? but uh, we're just going to look at it. Here they say, please read carefully by purchasing this product you, so you as client, agrees to the following terms. So you agree to the following terms. So we have a client, terms. Okay, this is the LLC name. So let's call it Ninja. Oh no, no, let's call it company, it's better, yeah agrees to provide educational training as program so the education training program in an online commerce shopping cart clients agree to abide by our policy and procedure as outlined in this agreement as condition wow okay so technically you accept the terms that's what they say yeah so what they're saying technically is we have a platform as soon as you pay for it you accept the program, bah. then they sell you something, you get the program, yeah? So this is how you use the website. Let's see, I'm using the website by downloading what thing is on the website, right? Okay. The thing is, um, if you look at it, I didn't accept any terms. So this doesn't apply for me because I didn't buy anything. This claim doesn't also apply for me. The only thing that can apply for me is the copyright. But the problem is this is a review. When you review something or if you comment something, you can use it as a reference in order to make something clear as long as you meet the other requirements. Our requirements is to show people the source. I show you at the beginning the source of the website. Yeah? So, let's look at it. Please read these terms of use carefully before using the website. Okay. Not interesting. Privacy policy okay this is the privacy policies this is not something you put in the terms but you can refer to the privacy policy i can understand that the thing is when you read the terms do not read everything like that because it's uh, not worth it you need to understand the structure of the terms you know so here we're going to look at our structure so this is a registration process and let's see yeah so you're saying that the, the privacy policy apply here web forms forms where you can uh, use an opportunity to submit post display so technically they have they have a form where you can um, ask question or share ideas if you're using wordpress most of the time they use it with body press or something they use the plugin body press to cre create this kind of terms Hopefully you can understand it. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to touch it. Yeah. Hopefully you understand what I mean. They use the most of the time the plugin body press in order to create those things. Yeah. So the four moderators. Hopefully he has a team. Yeah. Yeah, this is for the form. So it's not interesting for us. Let's see. Anything you submit, transmit. Yeah, this is for copyright, not interesting. But we need to mark it. Just because when we look at some other rules, we, we need to go back here. Thing is, th th this whole term doesn't have structure. It's just this, 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 this. And they make it difficult to read. Yeah. Maybe they did it that way so people will not read it. But uh, yeah. You remember I told you at the beginning, you do not put fee in the terms? That's what they're doing here. One time payment and installment. This is not something you put in the terms. This is something you put on the website. This is something you put in the shop. He's saying it's a WooCommerce site, right? This is something you put there, not here. Hey. It, the person that put this here is really stupid. Yeah, because technically yeah, this, these are not terms. 
these are this is just a contract that's the difference between a contract and a terms terms you put everything in it except the price the price that for the things that you are selling the price you will put it on the receive for example if i go in the store if i buy something yeah, i buy something get to receive and on the receive they will be like hey the terms apply for this and i get an email at home with the terms that's how it works and this is not how this here works this is I'm not going to say anything. Maybe he copied this and pasted it and paste uh, this in here. Or the person that made this is, um, I'm not calling you st stupid, but I'm just saying. You understand what I mean? Okay. I think, um, yeah, you know what? In the next live stream, I will discuss this. And I will also talk more about the other things in the terms. Because... If I'm seeing it correct, there's no structure in here, and I hope there was a structure. And now it's almost time for me to go, and I do not think I can discuss everything in 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is, in the next live stream, I will talk more about the terms, and I will also talk about the disclaimer, the other part of the disclaimer. And like you said, we also talk about this. I will recap this so you can understand where we are. And... I will show you more in a YouTube video because then we review the legal documents and then we're going to look at some YouTube videos and then you can see what I'm talking about. So in the next live stream we will do that but first we need to look through the documents so you can understand so we are both on the same page and then we're going to look at the YouTube videos and then you see oh this is how it works. These cameras are not worth your time. You see a lot of them out there. I will try to make videos of them and based on the legal documents, if they have them, I will look at it and tell you what you should believe or what you shouldn't believe. If you have questions about this or anything related to um, the things that I'm presenting in this video about the scammers or these people, let me know. If you want the scammers and you have a problem with this, feel free to send me a message. Yeah? And you can do whatever you want. I really don't care. Yeah? I just want to show the people what you are saying is not real yeah what you're saying is just fake and in your terms or in your legal documents you try to diffuse them i'm going to show you why it doesn't work and what it doesn't so you can see it's a review put it behind your lawyer it doesn't matter okay and hopefully you will do something about it i'm curious but um yeah for the youtube fans if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this on uh, twitch consider be uh, becoming a sub member and if you have other question put it in the comment and uh we'll see if i can help you okay that's about it i will see you in the next live stream and have a nice day i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be